Alright, well I wasn't paying attention and the uh, R18 quit after the 1140 did, but let's see if I can just flip start it with a fresh tank of fuel. Did it get too... Is it warm enough that it's... Alright. I guess I'll need to... Spin it for a moment. Part of the problem is I let that slide valve get dry too, because you got to constantly oil the slide valve. Hmm, all right. Well. Oh, you can see it arcing around the outside of the plug again, okay. There is condensation buildup in there or something. No, it got hot enough to melt the... Ah. We're back to the classic problem I have with this engine where it uh, is arcing on the outside of the plug. And I had sorted that out by gluing this piece of tube on the plug to provide solid ring insulation, but that insulation has broken down and we could see it sparking. And the... Alright, let's... Having cleaned that plug, we'll put our plug back in and see if...
that was enough to allow it to spark inside. Nope, it's arcing right down the back side here. So, uh, I have to go do some work on this engine and get this insulation better. And I know that I've checked the ground on this engine before, so it shouldn't be a ground issue that has suddenly developed, but we'll look again. Well, I mean, that wouldn't be a problem because the arcing from the on the outside of the insulator here, the arcing on the outside of the insulator here has nothing to do with. Let's see if that, let's. Yeah, that arcing there has nothing to do with the grounding of the engine and everything to do with the insulation and the plug. So I guess that'll be the project for the R18.